Hey everyone and welcome back to the Engineering Toolbox channel. This video is going to be the first in a series of tutorial videos covering SolidWorks. In this one I'll cover what SolidWorks is, features, add-ins, limitations, and everything I can to give you an idea of what SolidWorks can do for you. If you're someone who's thinking about using SolidWorks and looking to learn more before you buy, this is going to be a great introduction for you. Alright, let's dive in. Alright, so before we get into the tutorials, I wanted to take a little bit of time to just kind of give an overview of SolidWorks here. So, um, what is SolidWorks? SolidWorks is a 3D modeling, computer-aided design, or CAD, and computer-aided engineering software. It's developed by Desalt Systems. It has over 6 million users. It's used in a variety of industries, including automotive, agricultural, really any uh, machinery design or manufacturing or manufactured products equipment are places where SOLIDWORKS is going to be used. So who are the people that use SOLIDWORKS? Well, that's going to include mechanical engineers, product designers, mechanical designers, drafters, manufacturing engineers, civil engineers, really anybody who has to design products and determine how to manufacture those products are people that would use SOLIDWORKS. Some pros and cons, you know, looking at SOLIDWORKS versus other 3D modeling software packages or even really any CAD packages. Um, SOLIDWORKS is very popular, again, 6 million users worldwide and growing. Um, it's very user-friendly in comparison to some of the other 3D modeling softwares. I've used a few of them. Um, I haven't used every 3D modeling software out there, uh, but I think by far from the one that, ones that I've used, SOLIDWORKS is definitely um, the most intuitive. Uh, and I think it does a great job of automating workflows as well. You know, it minimizes clicks, um, managing your settings is all very easy to do with SOLIDWORKS. It's also very powerful. We'll talk a little bit about the simulations and things that it can do. You know, you can do very large assemblies, a lot of different things with SOLIDWORKS. Um, there's also a large online support community, great tutorials out there, great forums, part libraries, a lot of that kind of stuff is available within the SOLIDWORKS community. Just comparing 3D with 2D CAD, um, it offers a range of benefits included, including productivity, uh, like I mentioned before, with the design flow and automation built into the to SOLIDWORKS and also accuracy and that really is just because 3D offers the designer um, you know the ability to see uh, how parts mate and how things are going together a lot better than a 2D CAD software is going to um, that goes into the next point there engineering analysis there's a lot of tools built into SOLIDWORKS um, dimensional analyses uh, you know mates and motion and um, really gives you a lot of design uh, flexibility and ways to analyze how parts go together and how they might be manufactured versus a 2D software package. Um, also parametric design, so all changes update dynamically through assembly, through drawings. Also you can have configurable parts, so if you have the same part with very similar features, you can set up formulas and relationships within the design to drive um, different configurations of the same part. Um, then, like I said, assembly, you can pull multiple parts into an assembly, mate those together, see how things are going to work, build out a bill of materials from that, so on and so forth. And then simulation, uh, we'll talk more about that, but that is definitely something that a 3D CAD package uh, will offer that a 2D CAD package does not. So some cons, um, SOLIDWORKS is somewhat expensive, and I say somewhat because it's um, really on par with other 3D modeling softwares, although it is more expensive than uh, some 2D CAD packages. So you're going to be paying anywhere from $1,300 to $16,000 annually, depending on you know how you do your licensing, how many users you have, and um, also what level or package you purchase. Um, another downside to SOLIDWORKS is it's only available on a, a Windows operating system. It's not available on Mac. Although it is very powerful um, in terms of simulation, uh, there are other actual simulation softwares out there that, um, from what I understand, are definitely more powerful and feature rich. And then um, another aspect of SOLIDWORKS that is somewhat of a downfall compared to other CAD packages, it doesn't have the surface modeling systems and tools built into it that other CAD packages might. Katia, for example, although Katia is owned by Desalt Systems as well now. So, so this is a list of some of the other integrations and add-ins and options that you can get on with uh, SOLIDWORKS above and beyond the typical um, 3D modeling and drafting and assembly tools that come with the standard package. So within a standard license of SOLIDWORKS, you do get some FEA 
or finite element analysis tools. So things like static and linear stress testing, very simple simulations. Um, once you go up in packages, you can start to get into things like thermal simulations, dynamic impact, um, nonlinear simulations, pressure vessels, composites, where you have either different layers of materials or coatings or um, different materials within materials plastic injection molding and flow within dyes and things like that and then also fluid dynamics so HVAC or um, aerodynamic and also there's some other simulation features in there like time-based motion and kinematic simulation so at the picture of the robot there how does that um, assembly move and creating uh, motion simulations with assemblies um, also drop simulations so simulating like in the bottom left there, we have a phone that's being dropped and then event-based motion simulations, which is just a more advanced form of motion simulation. So Desalt Systems has come out with a new uh, web-based um, innovation platform or it's almost like a PLM. I'm not extremely familiar with it, um, but SolidWorks can integrate with that. Um, it's really just a platform for taking a product from concept through marketing and sales, through design, through engineering through manufacturing so on and so forth and driving innovation and collaboration across the company so SolidWorks fits in that ecosystem very well and then SolidWorks also has a lot of uh, computer-aided manufacturing cam software add-ins that you can purchase cam works HSM works solid cam just to name a few so add-ons that can simulate various manufacturing processes typically machining turning milling things like that and then uh, product design management so SolidWorks has a PDM add-in so tool for design and re revision control collaborative workflows approval processes checking in and out models and drawings so that um, files stay intact and then I just wanted to touch on some alternatives so what are some other comparable CAD packages that uh, you might consider if you're looking at uh, really any CAD package uh, depending on your needs but um, some other alternatives are AutoCAD which is 2D a lot of people are familiar with that talked a little bit about the pros and cons there with uh, 2D and 3D um, Inventor is probably the most comparable to SolidWorks it's another uh, Autodesk product and then there's Fusion 360 which is a web-based 3D modeling cam and design platform again by Autodesk then there's Katia, which I mentioned, which is also owned by Desalt Systems. Um, really popular in automotive and aerospace industries where there's a lot of surface modeling and simulations involved. There's also a Siemens product, uh, Solid Edge, which is a parametric modeling software, much like SolidWorks. I'm not very familiar with that. There's Onshaped, which is another web-based uh, 3D CAD package. Again, I'm not too familiar with that one. SketchUp has become more popular. Um, in the last five plus years, um, very easy to use, common in architectural and woodworking. You can pick it up and uh, start making some 3D models and designs pretty quickly. Doesn't have any of the drafting or simulations, also, it's pretty lightweight and um, basic in features compared to SolidWorks. And then there's FreeCAD, which is free. Um, I've talked about that before on the channel. Um, I've used that. It's not very intuitive, it can definitely do a lot of the things that SolidWorks can do, but not as feature rich not as user friendly all right thank you so much for watching hopefully this video gave you a basic idea of what solidworks is and how it compares to some of the other options out there if you're new to solidworks and looking to unlock its power be sure to subscribe i'll be releasing tutorials regularly from beginner to advanced and everything in between and you won't want to miss it i'll see you guys in the next one